Hello, I'm Paul Garrett from Orbis Software. I'd like to show you today how to configure a simple SOAP web service using our web service connect tool in Task Center. To set it up, you go to System, Tools, and under Execute, there's a set of tools here, the web service connector, open that one up. It'll give you a list of the web services that are already configured if there are any. And I'll add a new web service to this list. Um, this particular web service uh, gets the weather by postcode, by, by zip code rather, postcode is over here. <laughs> and I'll call this one weather conditions. Um, I know the, uh, the URL of the WSDL for this service. It's a service on the web, so I'll choose that one. And here it is. I'll just copy that service in. Say OK to that. Task Center will now go away and interrogate that, that WSDL file to find out the, the operations of this web service and any, any parameters that it, it might have. And it's done that for me. Um, I could describe this if I wanted to. Um, it's just got the one endpoint on this web service. It's a simple service. Um, in terms of operations that it's returned, you can see there are three operations that it can perform. I'll have a look at one of them. Get the city forecast by zip. And I'll just test that service to make sure it's been set up correctly. And it, it's got one parameter for this, and it requires me to enter a zip code, so I'll enter one and try that one out just to make sure it's all set up correctly. And it's returned what looks to be valid XML, it's not returned an error, it's generated some output which seems to have all sort of information about temperatures and so that seems to be fine, it's um, all been set up correctly. I'll close that. And close that. The other tabs in here, constants, there are, there are none really required. And authentication, it's, it doesn't require authentication and it's, it's determined that for me already and the testing proved it. So I'll just say OK to that. That's now created that service called Weather Conditions. And just to prove that that works now, I'll, I'll create a task. So I'm going to Tasks folder. And I've got a new task. And oh, what should I call this task? Um, weather by zip. And the design of the task. I'll just add a new step onto the task planner. It's an execute step. And it's the web service connector step. So it opens that step up. I've got no input data for this step, so I'll, I'll simply um, set it up to use a fixed value for the zip code. So which service did I require? I want the new one I've just created, weather conditions. What operation do I want to perform? I'll get the city forecast by zip. And now I need to map some data into this. If there'd been a previous step in this task, I could be passing a data set in on the left-hand side here. And on the right-hand side here, I've got the parameters, which is only one of the zip code. To be able to pass some data into that zip code, I'll just use a function. I'll use a, a fixed dynamic function. I'll just drag that onto, the, onto here, and I'll just connect that to the zip. So that's now got a connection to the zip. Open it up by double clicking it. It's got one output value parameter and the value of it, I'll set it to that same fixed value, 34040. Okay. So when this task runs, it will pass in that, that zip code and output an XML containing that information. Say okay to that. Now, just to prove that that's worked, I'll add another step to the task to capture the output from it. 
and I'll, I'll use an output step of save as file. So it's, I'll just leave it called save as file and I want to pass a value into it and it's from the task and it's from the web service connector and it, it's the output XML and I pass it out as a string so it's just a readable and where do I want to put it? I'll stick it on the desktop and what do I want to call it? I don't know, I call it weather.xml okay, now just join those steps up and that's the task created to save the XML file say so OK to that and there's my task to run my task, right click, Q now this could have been an event driven task but I've, I've got no event in this task so it's, now it's initialising the task it's made the call to the web service and it's saved a file so if I just go to my desktop now there's a file called weather if I open that file you'll see that I was actually looking at um, Key West in Florida and the weather at the moment is partly cloudy 90 degrees high today and if I come down through this we see that we've got tomorrow's weather and the day after and the day after so it's quite quite reasonably warm down there it's, and uh, Thank you very much for watching this video.